Howdy, it's Kevin from Earth 2 Mastery, one of your top 17-ish favorite Earth 2 YouTubers. And tonight, we try to take over the world. So, grab your Minecraft eraser because music is creeping onto the NFT scene. Let's go over what that means and who has introduced it in a quick video today. All right, guys. So, first things first, I've got plenty of sponsors down in the description below if you're interested in getting some free cryptocurrency check out my link to coinbase down there it's a referral link where you and i both get 10 free dollars in bitcoin i accidentally signed up without a referral link and i only got five dollars so you get extra bitcoin that way and then you get to watch educational videos where they award you with the crypto that the video is about i was able to get 60 dollars in free cryptos by watching those videos Okay, guys, so I've noticed, you know, I have been starting to be interested in the NFT collectible and NFT art scene. I'm trying to figure out exactly what it all means. What makes pieces more valuable than others? Uh, what makes pieces more attractive to collectors? Obviously, the content is not just the important part. The creator is even more important. Uh, this is true across all art forms. Uh, you could have somebody who actually sings better than a famous singer, but they're just not as popular and so they're not gonna get the turnout. You could have a print that is an exact replica of a copy that an artist officially released and the print is worth nothing while the art itself is worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. Uh, so rarity plays a part in it, but the creator plays an even bigger part in it. Uh, when it comes to NFT collectibles, the creator is important but the content is also important. So like I've talked to you before about the collectibles on Vivi. Well, Batman is one of the collectibles that you can purchase on Vivi. Clearly the artist that rendered the particular Batman you are buying is important, but Batman himself is the draw. So he is a character in and of himself. It's kind of like when an artist produces a print, the artist is the character. And in the collectibles, the character that it's about could be uh the draw that you see so we have batman we have harley quinn we have the stay puff marshmallow man all available on vivi and people are going there specifically for those items well when it comes to music it's going to be who the creator is that makes it valuable but you can also break onto the scene with some ingenuitive and attractive music even if you aren't well known and you could do it through this medium so it's definitely important for newcomers but it's also important for veterans so here we have back in December, we have DJ Deadmau5 launches $100,000 worth of NFT collectibles. This is a way for them to go directly to market and uh, get into a burgeoning space, a very popular and booming area where they can get some extra income, interact with their fans, interact with other people that want to collaborate. And so them getting involved in the NFT space is a perfect fit. Let's go over here. We have Grammy uh, winning producer Illmind also was putting out loops and samples on NFT. And uh, this person says that a use case that is genuinely better than the way it's currently done. Creators of the samples are paid directly instead of through some sample label. You're not just buying rights to use a sample, you are becoming the owner of it. Okay, so this is an amazing situation, right? You don't have to be managed. You don't have to uh, deal with middlemen. You can go directly to the consumer this way and get paid. What I also know is that, you know, ever since Napster came on the scene, the peer-to-peer -peer sharing network uh, has been cutting producers and artists out of the money that is rightfully theirs via people downloading online. Well, nobody really wants a physical album anymore, so there's no reason to go to the store and buy a CD or even uh, you know, the MP3s that can be downloaded online. But now that you can register those NFTs on the blockchain and you can actually prove direct ownership, and it's, some, it's, a, it's more of a collectible. When we used to buy CDs, they weren't collectibles. Nobody cared about CDs. That was just the technology to deliver the music. When you buy an MP3, nobody cares about the MP3. That's just the technology to deliver the music. But when you buy an NFT, it can both deliver the music and also act as a collectible because it could be a limited production run that only allows so many to be minted that now you could be one of the only people that ever truly owned that song in NFT form. 
So I feel like they are being able to marry two technologies um, and get a result that is good for both the producer and the end user. And that's why I think it's so important that they're moving on to this space. Here we go. We have Blau sells record breaking $3.6 million worth of NFT and first ever tokenized album sale. So tonight in a record setting and groundbreaking fashion, electronic music producer Blau sold a collection of limited edition NFTs for $3,666,666. The dance music vet and cryptocurrency pundit also broke the record in non-fungible token sales by selling 33 unique items for a total of $11,684,101. I feel like this is especially important right now when there's a lot of um, venues that are shut down and aren't able to uh, have their producers and their artists performing, aren't able to raise money. This has given the artists a way to raise money outside of live events, uh, considering that they've been kind of stifled over the last year in that regard. What they've also been doing is giving copyrights to people who are purchasing NFTs so that the people can actually use the NFT in any way that they want. So if, uh, like in the case of Illmind, he was allowing people to use the samples and loops that he was selling them uh, in their, for their own use. So then they could use them on their websites. That's going to increase the value. The collectability is going to increase the value. And I saw that he was even giving the person who purchased the item at the highest price, a chance to collaborate with him on another piece. Um, so there's really a lot of benefits that you can include, include with these NFTs. And uh, it's giving the artists a way to capitalize without having to pay obscene commissions um, to other people that are just trying to take money from their work. It also gives them complete freedom. They don't have to get everything approved before they produce it. They can really take artistic license with their uh, releases and that's going to allow them to interact not just more directly um, but more influentially in the space as well as more genuinely with their consumers because a lot of times what we see is heavily edited it's heavily influenced it's based on what the advertisers are willing to allow it's based on what the uh, producers not just the creators but the producers of the content think is a good idea or is marketable now we can really interact with the artists and we can really allow them to shine with their creativity uh, so i think that the music industry is the perfect example of where nft can work and i don't know about you uh, but i believe that there are plenty of people that if a song is released and they enjoy the song, they like the artist, maybe it's their favorite artist or their favorite song, they're going to be able to pay whatever they can afford in order to own the NFT that goes with that song. So if you have a song that is really popular and you have 50,000 of those minted as NFTs, I can almost guarantee that there's going to be 50,000 people out there that are willing to pay much more than they would pay for an album uh, on Amazon or on a CD, they're going to be willing to pay much more for an individual NFT of that song than they would for an entire album of just music that you could listen to, but had no record of buying. Um, so it looks like I cut out down there at the bottom. Let's go here. Oh, there I am again. It happens sometimes. Uh, but I really do believe that this is a way for the artists to get more money and that a, for the consumers to feel like they have more ownership and more interaction with those artists. So I think this space is definitely going to be one of the better ways that NFT technology can be used. Let's keep, keep an eye on this situation. Keep an eye on this space. I'll come back to you with a high, um, high status sales and we'll just watch how it develops. Okay, guys, so if you are interested in NFTs, it's a good idea to subscribe to my channel because I'm definitely interested in uh, making more content surrounding NFTs, how to produce NFTs, the collectability of NFTs, where you can get them, who's profiting from them. And uh, I also have a plan for my very own series that is absolutely unique. You will be able to tell that it's unique and nobody can ever duplicate it. And it's going to come with physical representations that accompany the NFT. So make sure you're here so that you can see when I release that. Uh, I, I'm not at a point now where I can disclose what that is, but it's definitely going to be interesting. Okay, guys? So I'll talk to you later.